It's raining, raining, huh? Good morning, adventurers from uh, outside of London. We are currently on our way to Luton Airport. We are flying to Dublin, Ireland today, picking up a car, driving way out to the coast. But first, we gotta get to the airport. It is nasty outside. It's coming down. We had to stand outside, wait for the bus, and just got soaked. Our oh. bags are covered. We are in like this sweet spot where we were only like half a mile from the airport, so bus was the best option, but I'm not waiting outside. All right, it's a bit of a miserable way to start the day, but we made it to the airport, and we have uh, quite a bit of time to kill. We are going to make our way past security and just chill till our flight, huh? And we actually don't have that much time. Our flight's at three, I oh, think. Oh, what time is it now? It's a little like 12.30, maybe? Oh, yeah. All oh. right, not too bad. We're right on time. I thought we were gonna have to wait around for a while. But then it's off to Ireland. We're gonna rent a car and start our I Ireland road trip. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be great. Yeah! Driving on the left again. It's gonna be so fun. We got all checked in. We are flying Ryanair today. If you guys are followers of our videos, you know we don't really like Ryanair because they charge you for everything and there's always surprises. That's really what annoys us. They say you have to go to the counter to get some special stamp. We go up there like, oh no, you don't have to do that. It like says it online, then you go up and they say something different. But today I'm <clears> glad <throat> we did wait in line because we did need a stamp. Literally, they just stamped the date on your boarding pass. But also, apparently, we were supposed to have printed our boarding yeah, passes. And we know that with some budget airlines you have to do that, but it never. we keep forgetting which one is which. Yeah. And it never said it online. It just said, oh yeah, go up and get your boarding pass printed. And then they say, oh no, we have to charge you 15 pound. Luckily, it's just so tough with Ryanair, man. Because we didn't know they she waved the yeah, fee today. Yeah, she was but really nice, but they're not always nice. Sometimes no. they are just so, not willing to work with you. Friend. Hello. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Nice people here. <laughs> Dublin, here we come. Woo! For you. Please don't be rainy. <laughs> we are on the plane. We're absolutely starving. We went to uh, Pret a Manger, which is like our go to place to get something slightly healthy. Yeah, it's super affordable, half the price of some of the other places uh, nearby. And we decided to stick with salads because we are going to be eating something very delicious but very unhealthy when we get to Dublin. Yeah, something for, we've been dying to try in yeah, Ireland. For the first time, we will be trying a spice bag. Yeah, what is a spice bag? Well, You'll just have to stay tuned to find you. out. It's a bag of just spices. We've arrived we to Ireland. It. Oh my God, we're here. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's actually the next day because <laughs> when we landed, we went, we just had this whole fiasco with the rental car and- It was bad. We were, it was so hard to deal with that that we really couldn't film any of it. Basically, we used the wrong card to book the rental online. One of our cards has, comes with car, comes, comes with rental insurance. Um, which is common on credit cards, but one of them does not. And yep. we use the one that does not. And then the guy tried to say to get insurance for the car, cheapest one was 200 euros. And we were like, that's double the price of our rental. So yeah, the we... rental was 90 USD. Yeah, it was very ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, so it was more than double the price just to get the insurance. We were like, are you having a laugh with us, dude? No. That is impossible. But so... anyway, long story short, it was annoying and we just had to just chill. It was taking us forever to get on the road. So it was just pitch black and yeah. But we made it! And we check out it. our little place that we're staying in. It is so charming. This is uh, the car that we picked up. This is going to be our trusty uh, trusty vessel. Yeah. But check it out. This <laughs> car has more damage than any rental car. The, they said, oh yeah, go out there and make sure you check the damage. There was damage all over the thing. But we're going to give you a look inside our cozy little cabin uh, later on. But we are going to head, I think we mentioned it already, but we're really wanting to try what's called a spice bag. We're going to go get a spice bag. Oh yeah. my gosh. This has been years in the making, I feel like. Yeah. So if you're curious what that is, we're about to go head into town and get it because we're curious about it ourselves. Yes. Can we put in a takeaway order? Oh yeah, of course. Did I? Um, the, what is it, the um, B. Mega spicy bags B. B, sweet, sour, oh, you want a curry. Can we do both? Thank you, all set. So we came to this little place called the Golden Dragon in Gort, Ireland. 
Um, I don't know, I'm sure there are more well-known places, but this was the local little Chinese shop that has this. So we got it for takeaway, and then we're gonna run home and devour it. We made it. Now it is time for the big reveal to show you all what the heck this thing even is. I have no clue what's gonna be inside here. Ooh, a pizza. So we should probably say that um, a spice bag is actually the smaller version of this, but we are so hungry and there's two of us, so we got the box. We wanted to go big for our first time, so we yeah. got the spice box. Yeah, but it basically has all the same stuff that a spice bag has in it, except some extras for us to indulge in. Before we dig in though, there is a very important piece of this puzzle missing. Some Irish beer. If I can get it open. Ah, it's bending this. Oh no! Ah. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Look, it bent this thing instead of oh, opening no. the cup. Jeez. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we will get into this beer. Yes! Jeez. Jesus. Now let's drink this. Cheers. Cheers! Oh man, I'm so hungry. So they didn't open until 4.30, so we thought we were gonna eat it like two. Yeah, so, so we've been waiting a long time yes. for this. All right, big reveal. Oh my god. What's in the box? Holy cow, uh, that's a lot of fried stuff. Holy cow. Yeah, this is a uh, very, very large, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. This'll, this'll be enough. Yeah, I guess a typical spice bag is fried chips with shredded fried chicken, and then it has, or chicken balls, which ours definitely came with. It has red and green peppers, sliced chilies, fried onions, and then a bunch of seasoning. We read that it can come with curry sauce, which ours did, but we also got an extra side of sweet and sour sauce. It was an option on the menu, so we thought we'd try it all. So this is the curry over here? Yeah, Let's I open think. That up. Let's see what's in it. Whoa, that is a right. vat of curry sauce. So it looks like all the things we were hoping for in a spice bag are here, except because we got the box, they threw in a few extra things. So we also have some crispy wings in here, and then I think just a whole bunch more than you would ever find in a normal bag, but we have the fried shredded chicken. We have the chicken balls, which I've never seen something Not like exactly this. exactly a ball shape, but. <laughs> no, fried chicken globs, I guess. And then delicious crispy chips. We got all the veggies, some onions, and I think there's some peppers down in here. So I'm guessing you're supposed to eat this with your hands because they didn't give us any utensils with it. Yeah, I don't know. And we also read that it's um pretty good after you've been drinking or while drinking. So we ha we have our beers. We're not quite drunk yet, but we'll, <laughs> we'll work on there. it. Yeah. All right, but enough talking. We're about to dig into this. What do you want to try it first? It smells so good. I don't know. I don't know. I want to try one of these little yeah, those look really fried good. chicken guys. So I guess I'll do it without any sauce just to see. I think there's going to be a lot of seasoning on here. That's what I'm hoping it for at least. Jeez. <laughs> it's a little crunchy. It's a little crunchy. I have to deep fry. Well, it's really salty. It's a really deep fried, maybe a little overly deep fried. <laughs> it's not spicy at all though. I'm it's not sure if- Try the curry. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's meant to be spicy. Oh, that's like gravy kind of curry. The curry sauce definitely adds a little bit to it. It's still not spicy. So far it's just, you know, fried chicken in curry sauce, which is totally fine by me. I think I'm gonna try this chicken ball next. So it's a battered fried ball of chicken. It looks like you, you can see some of the spices on there. Maybe it's just salt. Let's get some of that curry on there. Oh yeah, it just I would have just thought so this was good. gravy yeah. by looking at it. It's dripping. Got some dripping balls, huh? That's good. It's pretty good. Better than mm. the fried chicken? Yeah, I tried the um, shredded chicken. This is better. If you look inside there, the batter is really thick. It's mostly oh. comprised of batter, and the batter is absolutely delicious. The chicken in there is nice and tender. It's really juicy, and the, the curry flavor is really nice and salty, and sp it's got a lot of spices in it. It's not spicy, but it is absolutely damn tasty. So we were just taking inventory, and we realized that we actually don't seem to have any shredded peppers in here, maybe, or chili peppers. Um, yeah, it's just onions and uh, some other green, whatever these are. Yeah, let us know. Is that like a requirement for a spice bag slash box? Or is it more so just like the seasoning and the flavor? So you've really got two different types of uh, chicken experiences, if you will. We've got the shredded guys, which are much tougher on the outside, a lot more crispy. And then these, you just tear right through them. 
they're the batter on the outside is a lot more uh, smooth and more classic like fish and chips batter, I guess. Both very tasty in their own way. And the more I'm eating these, the more I'm really enjoying them, especially with that curry on there. The star for me are the chips. They're seasoned so well. These ones actually might have a little bit of a kick to them. They're super salty, really seasoned. I really like it. And I think I like the curry, but I think I like the sweet and sour sauce more. Oh yeah, I haven't tried that yet, but no, it's really I think good. getting both of them is the way to go so you can kind of change it up. This is so funny, spice bag, it sounds like an insult, like <laughs> Tommy, Timmy can't come out and play today because he's been a real spice bag. Well, I think that's enough talking. We're gonna destroy this spicy box. Oh yeah. aftermath <laughs> how do you feel about what we've done here um feel mostly deliciously good about it <laughs> although i'm gonna have to do an extra hard workout tomorrow i think my tummy's not gonna be so happy in a little bit but man did this taste so good i feel like we missed out not having the peppers in there and the mm -hmm. sign at the restaurant even said that it comes with peppers but maybe yeah. they were just out and they didn't tell us I don't know, it's a weird one. We almost forgot, we told you we were gonna give you guys a look around our little cabin that we're staying in. It is very cool. First so this- off, and very importantly, there's a heater here. There's <laughs> also a, uh, a wood-burning stove here. <laughs> so uh, I'll get that lit up. I learned how to properly get a fire going in one of these in our the cabin in Slovenia <laughs> that yeah. we were staying in. So there's the front door. It's all kind of like a, a large studio apartment. Yeah, pretty much. Kitchen nice. over here, and then this is the coolest part. There's a loft right here. And you can see it's all decorated really well. You've got all this is like exposed wood and stuff. It's very yeah, it cool. It feels super homey. Yeah. This staircase is the narrowest, <laughs> or like the tightest that I've ever seen though. It's, like, ah! Whoa. it's actually <laughs> really hard fall. to get up. Huh? <laughs> it might be small, but it's tall enough to do this. <laughs> I don't know why that, that was not cool. But you really got to watch your head up here. Ow. And your toes. That's the only downside is that I haven't bumped my head yet, but I will. I will do it. When you're getting into bed, you have to kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't it cool up here? It looks it's really so classy. It's so cute. Now to make this place nice and cozy. Oh yeah. That's how the pros do it. Are you impressed? I'm very impressed. It's <laughs> considerably warmer now and I love it. This is one of the most interesting things about this place. This is the electricity meter and it's coin operated. Check that out. So you can put euros in there and then you have uh, electricity. <laughs> yeah, it comes preloaded with uh, five euros, I guess. We're down to, uh oh, 325. We might have to put some in there. I've <laughs> never in my life heard of this or seen it though. All right, it is bedtime. Tomorrow we are heading to the town of Galway. I think yeah. it's how it's called. We're about an hour from there. I think it was voted one of the cutest towns or something like that in, in Ireland. We'll see for ourselves. Yeah. We'll be the judges of that, but stay tuned for that. So we're gonna see some beautiful Irish countryside. Yeah, maybe and, uh, a castle on the way. I yeah. don't think the weather's gonna be very nice to us, no. but we're gonna make the most of it anyway. All right, I'm tired. We're gonna go <laughs> <Tired>. to bed. <laughs> Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.